Welcome, entrepreneur. This is Mark Newsom of VIP.youcanmarketonlinenow.com. As you can see, we're on a uh, SERP page here for Google. And looking up here in the uh, text box, I put in my name, Mark Newsom, and my uh, moniker, Mr. Marketing. And look at there the top listing, Mark Newsom's articles on marketing. And as you can see, the uh, display URL is idealmarketers.com their library and what I want to talk to you today about ladies and gentlemen is a very powerful strategy that you're no doubt no doubt pardon me already aware of referred to as joint ventures sometimes you hear it referred to as JVs for short or strategic alliances or partnerships it really doesn't matter what you call it but this is an incredibly powerful money-making strategy it's low cost and it helps out all the participants involved as you'll see in just a moment but to set it up and to give you an example uh, let's say you have an offline business and by the way joint ventures work whether you market primary online or offline it really does not matter it's more of finding a synergy between two different business owners and there's a whole bunch of things you can do but just to keep this really really simple and to keep it focused and concise let's just suppose you have an offline uh, hair salon that you're about to open and let's say a person across the street to keep this really really simple let's say that they have a florist shop so there's a couple of ways you could go with this number one if you want to avoid the incredible amount of expense a traditional offline business would use by running advertisements in local newspapers and business publications and specialized publications and radio advertisement and of course television advertisement these are extremely costly and on average most people don't realize this but on average when you uh, use those kind of traditional sources to advertise your business product or service you are typically investing believe it or not on average about 500 percent to create a new first-time customer and that's one of the reasons why a lot of small businesses go under within the first five years or less because they're so cash poor see the problem is if you have to spend 500 percent just to get a new customer think about that think about how much business you have to do with them just to break even before you actually make a profit on the other hand try this out for example let's suppose you've signed off on the lease and right across the street uh, as I mentioned is your place of business and before you want run pardon me one dime and spend one nickel on uh, conventional advertising you go across the street and set up joint ventures say with that florist and then right up the street uh, the woman's uh, another place of business where, where women frequent and here's what you say to them hey uh, I'm across the street that new business there as you can see I'm just opening up and next Friday is going to be my uh, grand opening and here's what I'd like to offer your customers anytime they come in here and invest uh, let's say twenty five dollars or more in any of your products or services I'd like you to give them this coupon where they can come across the street and get twenty five percent off their first visit from me it's just my way of saying uh, welcome to new customers and also I have a special discount card here that anybody in your business that's an employee or an associate you give them this card and they can get a lifetime membership where they come in they automatically get 25 percent off every service and product that I have now this is just a way again for you leveraging somebody else's customer base because think about it they've already spent the money and the time and the skills to develop a uh, an ongoing pardon me customer base and so what you want to do is leverage that because think about it you don't want to have to spend or invest I should say 500 percent to go out and find new customers that's incredibly expensive and that's what puts a drain on most small business owners now just as a spin on that here's another way you could go with it suppose you offered a free drawing in the uh, florist business for example and you offered 
a hundred dollars worth of flowers on Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, pardon me, and the recipient's birthday, and also a box of chocolate, and you'll you'll deliver it by special courier, uh, either to their place of business or their home. It's better to do it at their place of business because think about the incredible uh, oomph factor and the wow factor you would get if you're sitting in a break room, and a courier walks in, and in fact, let's let's sweeten the pot. Let's also have them carry in a giant four and a half foot teddy bear. So this courier walks in to the break room and he says, excuse me, where is uh, Mrs. Janice Jones? And they say, well, that's Janice Jones sitting over there in the corner. So you walk over and you say, uh, hi, Janice Jones. And she looks a little startled. She says, yes. And you say, these are for you. And of course, you know, she's going to light up right away. She's got a uh, nice uh, uh, vase of flowers a four and a half foot teddy bear and a nice box of chocolate and she's probably not going to remember where these came from and say oh you were the grand recipient of a a free drawing that you entered and then they named that place of business she goes oh yeah now what do you think is going to happen as soon as she signs off of that and that curry leaves that room you can almost bet everybody's going to want to know especially the ladies no offense what's going on what's the deal hey Janet how, where'd you win these and, and here's the other thing that the business should do they should leave 10 cards so she can pass out to women there and say hey they're telling me to tell you to go to this website and sign up for a chance to win this uh, free drawing again next month what do you think probably 80% if not 100% of those people get the that card is gonna do you guessed it they're gonna go to that website or that lead capture page in this particular case and for those of you not familiar lead capture page is just a fancy way of uh, sending people online traffic to a specific page and the only purpose of that page is to get your contact information either meaning your first name and an email address and that's it that's what's called a hard sell capture page or a squeeze page or a landing page sometimes you hear it referred to as now a soft squeeze page is like a blog in other words you go to the blog and off to the right usually at the top is a uh, spot where they say sign up for this free newsletter or maybe they're giving us specific free report or an audio product or whatever but they can also read articles on the blog and click on different pages on the blog see that's there's too many options there a squeeze page the only purpose of that squeeze page is either they're going to give you their contact information or they're going to leave that's it now you're going to see a, a, an example of a squeeze page here in just a minute but getting back to the reason why I brought you to this particular page on Google by the way ladies and gentlemen can you imagine that all of this free traffic and by the way if you look at this page here you'll see that uh, there are several uh, links for different uh, websites and all of this uh, all of these links here to the left are referred to as organic or free listings now if you look over here to the right you see where it says free local ads this is where if there were some and there are not this is where the uh, Google AdSense ads would go in other words people who would bid by paying to be placed over there these would what would be called sponsored links but there are not for whatever reason for this particular page and those particular search terms nobody's bidding so as a result and sometimes they also have them over here to the top left but as you can see there just aren't any so that could or could not be a good thing but anyway all the traffic here is organic traffic and based on whatever Google's current algorithm is and only Google knows it's top secret so there's no telling and these these uh, links will change from time to time uh, you could come back here maybe next week and my listing won't be number one but since it is number one here I want to take you inside here and, and uh, when we take a look at this page and there's something I want to show you and the re here's the reason why I am talking about this about joint ventures because I want you to see this so we're gonna click on this and this is gonna take you to ideal marketers and I have an account with them and here are the three articles I don't know if you can see them right down here where I'm moving the cursor is where these three articles are that I've written but this is what I want you to understand about joint ventures and what makes them so powerful and this is the reason why I'm talking to you about them. Idea marketers. Think of idea marketers as a TV station for a moment. 
they have this giant audience of millions of people who depend on them for programming so what they want to do is they want to put content on this site that's going to attract eyeballs so what they do is they allow people like myself to supply them with content in exchange people like myself get free exposure to millions of this case in this case of idea marketers millions of eyeballs every month and if the people come into this site like what they see they're more than likely to sign up for your newsletter or opt into your your list to get whatever free information that you might be offering and hopefully if you are writing articles and this is a very powerful way to do a couple of things ladies and gentlemen number one it positions you as an expert in your industry number two it's an incredible way if you use it correctly to lead generate in other words people come here they read these articles and at the bottom of the article in what's called your resource box you should be leading them not to your blog lead them to a lead capture page in other words you want to have a specific page that they can either come to and either give you their name and email address to receive your powerful free what some people call ethical bribe or they leave that's it in fact if you look up here it gives a, a little bio about Mark Newsom and who I am. And at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it, it says rush over to www.vip.youcanmarketonlinenow.com. When you go to that website, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have a, uh, you're going, you're going to a lead capture page. So either you're going to opt in to get the powerful free information that's being offered at that site, or you're going to leave. And either way is okay because it's that information is for the people who it's for, not who it's not. So the power of joint ventures is simply this. You can leverage somebody else's assets, their credibility, their knowledge, their expertise, pardon me, their customer service, and on and on and on and on. Joint venturing is a powerful way for you to probably earn an additional 25% in your business right now within the next 90 days ladies and gentlemen hopefully you see the benefit of this and how you can cash in with it this is Mark Newsom of vip.youcanmarketonlinenow.com with today's marketing minute we'll see you soon